Koh Tao Island in Thailand is one of the cheapest places in the world to do your diving certification and it has some of the best diving as well. Koh Tao is situated in the Gulf of Thailand which is on the east side. There are three main islands in this area, Koh Tao, known for its diving, Koh Panyan, which is where all the full moon parties are, and the most famous and biggest one, Koh Samui. Come join us on the island as we see what it is like to do your open water diving certification here. I'm Ilke, and a year ago Jared and I sold all our stuff, kept our jobs, and now work remotely while traveling the world. We're on our way to Koh Tao. As I say, it's one of the best places in the world to learn to dive, one of the most amazing diving spots. So I'm going there to get my open water, open water certification. Um, Jared already has his, he's got his like seven, eight years ago before we even met. Well, that's probably like nine years ago then. We met a long time ago. <laughs> it's a four day course, arriving today on the island at like two. Then I have like an intro thing. Then tomorrow it's more theory and diving in a pool. And then on Monday it's going out for a dive in the morning and writing the exam. And then another two dives on Tuesday morning. So I'm excited, I'm a little nervous. We went snorkeling last weekend in Pipi Island. And it was like very nice visibility and quite shallow. And I think around Koh Tao is also quite shallow. So that's quite nice. Makes me less nervous. But yeah, I've never gone diving at all. So it will be the first time. using Lombardi I think it's one of the highly recommended ones it was about 800 rand a ticket um, so we got a taxi from our hotel to around Phuket town area where you get a bus from here to the port but I think the port is outside Phuket and then you get on a ferry but it looks like a catamaran ferry so it looks a bit bigger than the ferry of last week or the speedboat it's a speedboat ferry um, which I think is about five hours yeah, yeah, yeah. We used one to go Asia all the time to book transport in Asia. It is really affordable, super easy and we never had any issues. It was really nice people on the boat, they gave us a new fruit, like a nice He was staring at you, he was staring at us. I was at staring at them because they were peeling the thing and then this white thing came out and I've never seen it before so I was like, this is so cool. So he gave us it, it's very nice. This is Koh Panyan, the island with the famous full moon parties. Which is the stop. It's also another island here. So you get off here to get onto another boat to go further to Koh Tao. Going on a bigger boat now, here to Maria. So many people. So there's a lot of controversy about this island that we're going to, Koh Tao. Um, there we go. No, that's what these are. Very pretty nice at all. It has aircon inside. You can go upstairs and sit upstairs in the sun. We felt very safe on the island and had no issues. But just like any other place you would travel to, always follow the same safety precautions. Like don't walk alone at night, don't venture into unknown areas when it's dark, be respectful to the locals and the place and be cautious when drinking and where you drink. It is quite chaotic when you arrive. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot going on, a lot of people, a lot of taxes, a lot of resorts. We are on our way to the dining school. Yeah, I yeah. have my intro today. I think this is where we're learning, where I'm learning today. So we just arrived at our hotel called Ko Mantra. It's basically right next to Crystal Divers on the beach. Um, we took the cheapest room. It's 4,000 Rand for a whole week. And it's quite large, um, like really large. It's a bit old, the people are super nice. It's like, so nice. It's got a bed, couch area, workspace area, side walking area, and I'll show the beach now now. But um, we went for, there's not really Airbnbs here. 
<laughs> so it's real hard to get an apartment or an apartment that's like close to the diving stuff and you don't want to have to drive everywhere day to go dive so we are on the beach um we don't usually stay in a studio and i'm off kind of for two days of work so less meetings we have the outside space to meet i mean the hotel seems like empty so i'm sure there's people but it seems very empty so they can sit in the eating area to work or by the pool or a lot of other spaces so often when we stay in hotels especially during COVID times it's quite empty so often we can work in uh communal areas which when it's busy obviously can't so southeast asia love their bars inside the pools we love it too Time to cross the river to our hotel. It is like basically, I think, almost the soon season. Oh, I hope this water is clean. First meal on Kotal. You enjoy your refreshment? Yes, I remembered how to breathe through a regulator. <laughs> no, it was actually it was actually a lot more than I've, I've forgotten. I forgot a lot of it. Thank you. We had a dinner guest tonight. A reminder that for every new subscriber to this channel, we feed a stray animal. On Kotal Island, foreigners left it when COVID hit and left all their pets behind. So there's a lot of stray animals on Kotal and all over Thailand. You can also visit the link on the screen and in the description to donate more meals for only the price of a takeaway coffee. We had the most amazing fish. It doesn't look amazing right now. Yeah, it's a bit after the fact. Oh, how the car will. Um, but it was so good. It's like fish in a Thai curry sauce. Best fish I've had in my entire life. It's so good. So, <laughs> I spent all day in the pool from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. It was amazing. I'm a little tired, <laughs> so I feel like I'm <laughs> a little ditzy. But it was amazing. Um, have the we're at Crystal Dive School in Katal. If you ever come dive here, Steve he is like it. the best diving instructor. He is like amazing. He makes you feel so comfortable. And Jared dive today in Katal. Twins and buoyancy world, which is quite cool. Uh, it was beautiful. Like so many. I saw stingray for the first time. Beautiful stingray. Blowfish. I think so. Yeah. That's so good. Like I'm going diving tomorrow for the first time in the ocean. Yeah. Tomorrow afternoon while I do I think a you may go do the same dive, which is cool. Theory. Um, also, when you come to this island, remember to bring mosquito stuff. They do sell a lot of mosquito stuff as well. But the mosquitoes chow Don't. you here. What more do you want in life? There's so many cute places here. So I want to go to Baby Rasta. Apparently that's a live music and you drink. Um, but it's like super chill vibes. So I want to go there. It's also very, very... So you watch the TV. Yeah, it's super empty. So today, I have to watch more videos because I was late on the first day. Write the exam. Hopefully I pass. <laughs> I don't know if I will. And then we're going diving. Two dives for the first time in the ocean. Super excited. I don't have any footage of the dives during the course as I was focusing on not dying. But in the next video, we do our advance and I was a lot more comfortable in that video so you can see some of the amazing diving in Kotal. Um, wrote final exams this morning and diving was awesome. It was so cool. I just got really nauseous on the second dive because the water was very choppy. Yeah, I do take maybe a seasickness, but I'm going to take one tomorrow because it's just not fun. You kind of just want to like get out because you kind of want to throw up and you just, ugh, it's not nice. It was a bit scary going down the first time, um, but when you're there, you like, it feels normal. It kind of feels normal as you just swim and you look at the fishies and we went to two dive sites today, Twins and Junkyard. It was really cool. You want to feel safe. You want to feel like you can trust this person with your life and I really do trust you with my life and the school. It's really cool. Now I have to work for like two hours or so. It's like 8 p.m. here because I'm on leave, but bit of a hectic time of the month so and my way to the last day of diving for this qualification I could have slept all day probably I think I slept for nine hours and I'm still so tired guess I finished her diving course me <laughs> it was awesome 
are even good. We got um, free t-shirts. Look at this. Yeah. Free t-shirt. Lugbook. I have to remember to do the digital one because I will definitely lose this. It was so cool. Like if you ever want to try it, just do it. Like it's really not that nerve-wracking. If you have a good instructor, you're fine. Like because you relax and you like use this up and you can like control your breathing so you can control like your buoyancy, which is very important. And you can just look at the fishies and it's so cool. And we had an amazing team. I had a really awesome buddy and the couple with us. Well, the other couple there was awesome and they're gonna do the advance with us over the weekend so i'm so excited for that yeah it was awesome so this morning i felt so sick steve the intro instructor i was like hey i don't feel like super good i feel like a bit dizzy and nauseous you're breathing this condensed air we've been breathing it for two days um all day in the pool and yesterday diving so uh, the condensed air and you tired i mean he said i think you burn like 800 to a thousand calories on a dive, like it's hectic, just a tip. Don't, don't be like, oh, I'm gonna work afterwards. Especially after you had a full day of like the exams and then the dives in the afternoon. Don't be like, well, I'll be online. I sleep last night while working and now I mean, I'm dead tired. And now, yeah, I have to work. I took like a half day, but still have to work half day. Our first back of a bucky ride here. It's even got sea. Crystal Divers actually gives you free accommodation for every day of your course which we only found out after we booked our accommodation already. But you can use it after the course if you want to stay longer on the island as well, if they have space. Which is the one that comes for free when you do a diving course. But in many nights, how many days you're doing it, really decent. I mean, it's awesome. Also, we don't just eat nice food every day. Some days you stay in a hotel without bowl so you can't make anything and you've been eating out all the time so you make noodles in cups kind of like do you want to go dive or do you want to eat out today we want to dive in the next video jared and i both do our advanced open water divers with crystal divers in kotal and i'm a lot more comfortable with diving so be prepared to see some beautiful footage of the underwater world thank you for watching and remember to subscribe